Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Wondering Nancy. I do photo reviews all around the world and I give the most authentic feedback based on my own staying experience. So in today's video, I'm going to have a photo review on Bagnoli Hotel, Regina. Before we get started, just a heads up, in the following weeks, I'm going to have a photo review a holiday in Rome. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now, let's get started. we've already checked in so we can see the door is kind of like a modern design the interior of the room is like a uh, very Italian design decoration I've noticed this card because it's a leather made so in this cabinet we got the um, in-room safe here and all those three drawers are empty for storage then over the top we got a uh, pillow and a blanket here it's a uh, marble design bathroom so as we can see the whole bench is marble and on this side we got a leather box of tissue and a uh, glass hand towel and some more towels on this bench and here we got uh, some amenities from um, Jenna Luna this brand and this one is from a different brand and also it seems like this one has already opened by somebody else and here we got a lovely box um, it's a vanity box and it's soap bar here as well then here we got a um, some bath towers hanging on the wall and a uh, lovely bath towel and a ring shower head a uh, and separate shower head just over there and again because um, I feel like it might be a very normal thing in European hotels so this is a uh, SOS code in case any emergency happens just pull this one and here's the bidet we got these some um, racks for more towels intimate cleanser then here we got a two bathroom now it's time to show you guys our very beautiful bedroom just come on in so this is a uh, bedroom if there's no bed i probably would say this is a museum or something because it's really beautiful with all those beautiful decorations so on this left side we got a uh, luggage rack here at the bottom and over the top we got a um, some nice paintings over there so in the middle we got uh, this lovely mural very beautiful frame so on the other side we still got another painting as well and down here those are two comfy chairs and this is our welcome drink the carpet is kind of like floral as well which is really beautiful very much with the wall i've noticed there's no charging sockets on this side on this floor mat we got this lovely slippers in a pouch i'll just open it these slippers are very well designed and very comfy wow it's very fluffy love it very very soft and we can see the bed head is quite floral as well another pair of slippers 
on the floor as well. Then um, on the bed, I've noticed we got this uh, breakfast menu. Also, there's no charging showcase beside the bed. And we've got a very lovely cabinet here. I'm sure it's empty, it's so just a decoration. If you come over, all those are metal. They are, these are kind of like antique. Very pretty. Yeah. This TV here, and down here is the mini bar. So on this side, I've got two glasses over there. Then here, we've got a mini fridge in the middle. The mini fridge is filled uh, with um, snacks, drinks, and uh, some whiskeys here. So on this side, we got uh, this lovely walking desk and a very comfy chair here. And this is our complimentary water, two bottles. And this is a tray as well, but I'm not sure what it is for. And we got uh, this um, spa information. We've got this lovely little box here with a Bagnoli Hotel Regional's logo on top. But I've noticed one thing, they don't have a coffee machine like complimentary drinks such as coffee and tea bags, which is a bit weird. Because uh, it's very, very late today already. Um, we are a bit tired, so we're gonna have a quick shower, then uh, go to sleep. It's time for me to summarize the highlights, lowlights, and membership benefits for staying with Bagnoli Hotel Regional. I would start with the lowlights first because it's definitely lower than expectation uh, compared to the price we pay to the hotel because it's extremely pricey. So the first uh, lowlights I want to talk about is uh, the room type. It's a quite small hotel and the facilities are a bit old and tired and the lift is really small. The directions are not clear at all. Our room is on level 5. When we came to level 5, the direction signs only shows the room up to 511 while our room number is 512 so it really took us a bit of time to figure out where our room is located it's still on level 5 but for some reason it's not on the um, direction sign which is uh, a bit weird and this morning we wanted to check out the uh, fitness center at the gym but we still couldn't find it there's no fitness center no gym there that's um, definitely a downlight for me the staff is a bit cold when we walked into the entrance last night, uh, we had our luggage with us. We got uh, three pieces of luggage. There's no greeting and nobody offered to carry those luggage for us. So this is a bit unusual uh, in such a five-star hotel. At least I didn't have such an experience with any other five-star hotels 
previously. So yeah, there's no complimentary drink of coffee and tea bags in this room, which is um, not very convenient for me because I'm a coffee drinker. If there's no coffee in the room, I feel really something is missing. Also, there's no separate shower room in this hotel and it's really not convenient at all. And the shower facilities are really old. It's not a very good experience when while taking shower in this hotel. One last one, I wasn't quite happy about the dining experience with Bruno restaurant. The waiting time is extremely long, even though we had a reservation, we had a booking and the staff seems to be very busy. We've been sitting in the lobby and waiting for someone to serve us for about five minutes and finally a staff came and took us to the table. While they were explaining the menu to us, one staff has advised us to uh, choose the special menu which is about 75 euro per person. Somehow the other staff started speaking Italian to him and they had a uh, Italian conversation. Obviously we couldn't understand a single word and after the conversation and they decided to give us another normal menu which was 80 euro per person. For me that's really unprofessional. If you want to say something at least you speak English because they can speak English, right? However, I want to shout out to Reed. He's the only person made us feel welcomed and he brought us like quite a nice service. The food came quite slow and the food quality was really quite normal compared to the price and the only thing made us like feel wow is the tiramis and other dishes I feel like Nah, it's really very beautiful. It feels like we spent some money to uh, stay within a uh, museum. It is full of history and of details which makes us feel a dream in Italy. The second highlight is this location. It's basically it's in the heart of the um, Rome city. With a walking stance, we can easily get to all those attractions such as Spanish Steps, Trevi Fountain and the Pantheon. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this hotel to any of you if you want to just seek the uh, best location of this city because it's um, the location is good but for other experience it's really not a five star level I couldn't deny it's really beautiful especially uh, inside this building it's really beautiful so talking about membership benefits I am not a member of this um, hotel group however I booked this hotel through MX FHR program so therefore I've um, received 85 euro credit uh, which should be like 100 US dollars credit as per the uh, membership benefit. Uh, the current on the day was one to one. I've only received 85 euro although and I was entitled to have late checkout and early check-in privilege. Also, I've got a uh, two complimentary breakfast. We didn't have any room upgrade this time because they, uh, we were told the room was fully booked uh, yesterday. That's pretty much about this hotel. In my next video, I'm going to have a hotel review on holiday in Rome. So uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye now.